Hello and welcome back to another survival in Minecraft 1.16.3 And it has indeed been a while since we have started an episode on the balcony like this And that means yes, we are finally done looting all those bastions And uh, if you have not watched the last couple of episodes Well then we did streams actually uh, looting the bastions and those got turned into episodes that you can actually watch as well. They're in the playlist. Um, but if you did not see what we got in total, let's see right now. This is our uh, valuables barrel right here. And this is what we have. Or a stack of golden blocks, 16 blocks of iron, which is a lot. We have 13 ancient debris in total, five diamonds. But not only that, we also got some pretty good tools. We got the banner pattern, snout, and we got two diamond pickaxes, silk touch and mending, which is huge. And we have a diamond shovel with unbreaking three. Now the mending one we can combine with this diamond pickaxe right here with unbreaking three, fortune two and efficiency four. We got that from enchanting it ourselves. So those two would be a perfect match if then also turned into netherite. That would be an amazing combination right there. Also, we have pig step. I don't remember if we had that before we left. But anyways, we also have something else. We also have two pieces of diamond armor, diamond helmet and diamond boots. That's pretty good right there. We also got a bunch of iron swords enchanted and enchanted crossbows as well. And in general, we just got a lot of stuff. Uh, not to mention the golden carrots. We won't be needing to hunt for food for a while. Um, yeah, we got some pretty good shop, shop stuff. Bunch of crying obsidian, bunch of obsidian. Oh yeah, and we got the lodestone. The lodestone. Now you may be wondering, well, you can't get redstone in the nether. You, that, it's just a decoration block. Well, you see. You see, you see, you see. Down here. It is true, I'm not able to get redstone from the nether directly. But we have... Okay, that's what I thought. We have Bobo here. And he, he conveniently has redstone for sale. <laughs> um, now this is just the price that I set for it. Let me know what you think is a good price for redstone down in the comments below because I can certainly change it. Um, but yeah, I think this is an okay fitting price. It's expensive because you can do a lot with it and it can be very valuable to some things. So I feel like an I think it isn't too expensive. Um, so he has that covered pretty much. So in this episode, we're just gonna be crafting a bunch of blocks such as the anvil we're gonna be maybe doing some enchanting maybe some other stuff and getting ourselves geared up really quickly before we continue with this video a quick word from our sponsor humble servers do you need a server with low cost but still has good performance humble servers got you covered with their super low prices thanks to their per core principle you will get a 4 gigabyte RAM server for just 3 US dollars in the budget lineup using Ryzen 3600 CPUs. That's amazing. You should get one down below in the description right now and use promo code BINARYV at checkout to save 25% off of your first purchase. Also by using the link down below in the description, you support me and the channel. Now, have you gotten the server yet? Oh, good. Okay, we can continue with the video now. Uh, it's a transition here. So let's get right into it, shall we? So. Uh, let's do the lodestone first, actually. Let's do the lodestone first. I have never played around with the lodestone, and I find it very, very interesting. Now, we do have to break one of our uh, iron blocks down, but that is fine. I need one iron ingot to trade for one piece of redstone dust so that I can make a compass. Now, normally, compasses does not work in the nether, but with the lodestone... Oh, dear. No, just one. Just, just one. <laughs> I just need one. I just need one. New recipes unlocked. Yeah, we can actually do a lot of stuff with this redstone recipe. Let me know if you have any ideas for stuff down, down below in the comments. But we have the redstone dust now. Uh, I don't know why I went into there. Let's go ahead and make a compass. Now, a normal compass in the nether does not work. But with the lodestone, that's a different story. Now, where should I put this? Where should I put the lodestone? I feel like this corner, maybe. I think we could always move it anyway. So, boink, right there. And then I should just right click the compass and it should work. It did. 
has made the advancement country load take me home. Now this compass will always tell us the direction of our base. Now I can never get lost again. <laughs> and we can even rename this so we can have multiple compasses in the future if we want to. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Look at that. That's cool. Now, speaking of renaming things, we should probably get an anvil going because we can do a lot of combining with these swords and pickaxes and whatnot. So let's get that going as well. So three blocks of iron and then four iron ingots right there. It is expensive, but I believe that it is definitely worth it right here. Let's put it next to the smithing table. I think it's a smithing table. Ding. Cool. And we need another block as well, but I don't remember the recipe for it. Um, I want the, I believe, the loom, but I'm not, yeah, the loom. That's how you make banners, right? I believe that's how you make banners. I'm gonna place it right here next to this stuff. Yep, that's how you make banners. I want the loom because I want to make a few banners, even though they will cost some wool. But we should be fine. We have uh, we have a lot of string, so hopefully we should be fine. Even though I could technically turn all that into beds, we'll uh, we'll be fine. Because I wanted to use this banner pattern right here to make a couple of just two banners, maybe to hang on these two blocks right here to make the base look even cooler. Except that I just realized I don't have any dye, except for blue. What what dyes do I even have available? I think the only dyes that I have available are blue and white. <laughs> okay, that's not that's not the best options in the world. Um, do I really not have any other dyes? I don't think so. I have white and I have blue, which then means I also have light blue. Um, huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like I need to go and buy a little bit of lapis for some gold here. We can get gold pretty easily so it's all right to use some gold for this because i want this done go away uh yes give me three lamps of sully that can then be turned into blue dye all right and with bones i can then make white dye which means i can then make light blue dye all right bones and turn a bone into that turn that into white dye Turn this into blue dye, and we have light blue dyes. All right, so now we have the dyes. Now we need to make the banner itself, and this is going to be, yep, expensive. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's just for one. I want to make two, but this is we just gotta start with one, and see how it goes. Now I have, I think I have a design that I like. I only have these colors to work with, so I'm not super happy with it, but it is better than absolutely nothing. So, uh, also we need the better pattern right there. All right, um, I actually, yeah, I need more light blue dye. There we go, all right. At least the dye isn't expensive. So, put in the batter, and then we add the light blue dye and the banner pattern snout. First off. That is the first operation. So before we continue, this is how it looks just like that. Now, let's go over here and light blue die again. And here we have the default patterns. And as you can see, we can choose a bunch of different ones, none of which really fit in unless we use these two right here, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to select the lower teeth here and do that and upper teeth and do that and there is our banner now it isn't the prettiest <laughs> but it's what i have to deal with i didn't want to only have the snout in there because i feel like that kind of ruined it now let me know what you think down below in the comments because i can remove those teeth and just replace it with white dye and it should go back to white in fact we can just test that real quick not by doing it but by putting it in here and choosing teeth and okay that's kind of hmm that's weird you should be able to completely erase it maybe it's just how it looks maybe it doesn't look like that down here anyway let me know what you think of this design down below in the comments i think i like it there's 
using blue dye as the background? No, doesn't work. It's too too dark and yeah, concentrated. I feel like light blue dye is nice and white dye is nice. Now I tried um, in a different world. I tried instead of white use the light blue and then instead of light blue. Uh, for these patterns, use white, but I feel like this stands out more. So I think this is the design I'm gonna go for, but let me know what you think down below in the comments. Now, there we go. We have the the, the die right here, and where I want to actually put it is... Do I not have any netherrack? Why do I not have any netherrack whatsoever? I need... I need stuff to... Okay, let me just get some netherrack so I can build. Alright, hopefully this is enough. I was thinking I could put it here, but I feel like I want it on the main base. So, I'm thinking of putting it right there. Maybe add some light up here or something behind it. But, I think this might look okay cool. Except that I think we might end up... Actually, that does not look bad. It actually fits right in. Now we might need to add it to this outer pillar, otherwise we won't really be able to see it unless we're coming up the stairs here. Eh. Let me know what you think. Does this put it on this or put it on the on the base here? Um, but we certainly need to make one more and I have enough dye for it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. And put the rest of the string in here. That used up quite a bit of string, but that is all right. We are making stuff that normally cannot be done. Actually, normally you can't do this because you would need lapis lazuli in order to do this fancy stuff. Anyways, blue snout, remove that, upper teeth, and lower teeth. Right there. Boom. Good thing this doesn't get consumed. <laughs> Alright, let's get out here and then place it on this other pillar right here. Boop, boop. Add it. Like so. And... That doesn't look bad, actually. I like how this looks. I just don't know if it should be there or on the main pillar. Or on this, like, thing here. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, as I said. But anyways, that is the banners done, and I think I like it. I actually like it. Let me just put that up there. Alright, what is next? I guess the next thing is to combine some stuff. So, firstly, I would like to take a look at all these swords. Because we have a lot, and we could make a pretty good sword, if not two. So, we have a one Unbreaking 3 here. We have a Knockback 2, Fire Spect. And an unbreaking two, and an unbreaking two, which can become an unbreaking three, and then a sharpness two. So I feel like we should try and combine these three to get knockback two, unbreaking three, and sharpness two on our sword. And we could combine these two and make another one that has fire aspect, which I don't know well why we would use it since we're in the nether. <laughs> uh, I guess it could help against piglins. I guess we'll add it if we can. Um, but yeah, I think we should try and make... How expensive would that be? So, I'm bringing 3 with sharpness 2. Fire aspect 10. Yeek. Not back 2. Okay. Now keep in mind, this is iron and it does not have mending, so eventually it will break. But it does have unbreaking 2, so it is definitely an upgrade for now anyway. I don't think fire aspect is worth it, honestly. Let's just get this on it. I can always get more experience. And then get knockback two. That's seven. And I think that right there is a pretty decent sword. Unbreaking three. Sharpness two, which basically puts it higher than an unenchanted diamond sword because it has 7.5 attack damage and knockback two. That is not bad. I like it. Me like. Uh, the next thing I want to combine are actually the crossbows, because those I have a lot of as well. Some that are really, really good. So, there are mending, definitely. Then we have multi-shot. Then we have unbreaking one. We have quick charge three, which is really good, I love that. And another mending one. We'll save that, we'll use this mending one. 
and uh, we'll make a quick charge three and multi-shot bow. Now I could get unbreaking on it, but since it has mending and I don't use the bow that often, it's not too big of a deal. Plus I would rather try and get an unbreaking three one from the enchantment table directly. Uh, so I think that is the play right here. So mending and multi-shot. Oh dear, this is expensive. Maybe if I switch those around, six, six. Yeah, it's a little bit better. All right, multi-shot and mending, let's do it. And then seven, yeah, seven levels to do this. All right, let me just get this actually. And I have some quartz right down here. Let me mine some quartz and we can complete this combination stuff. Okay, so I just came back to the base and this guy just spawned here. We need to do something about that. I don't want you guys spawning here. I mean, he's friendly enough. Okay, I'm not gonna ask how he did that. All right, nine levels. Should be able to do this. Mending, multi-shot, and quick charge. Perfect. Now I just need to always have a bunch of arrows in on in in my inventory. And it is a pretty good bow. Now, if we could get power and unbreaking on a non-enchanted one, that would be pretty cool. But I think that will have to be for another day because we still have a bunch more stuff to be doing. And one of them is actually regarding this pickaxe. It has fortune two, efficiency four, and unbreaking three. And in here, I have a mending diamond pickaxe. I want these two combined because this pickaxe is just too good to not mend up. Now that would be six or 20, yeah. So that's a pretty beefy pickaxe. I need six experience for that. Give me a moment. Just gotta look for some nearby quartz and mine away. And we should soon have level six in order to do this. Level six acquired. All right, let's do this. Six, I'm bringing three, Fortune 2, Efficiency 4, and Mending. That's pretty good, but you know what would be even better? Netherite. We have, in total, 13, once this is smelted, 13 Netherite scrap, which is enough to make, for a 12, 3 Netherite ingots. That's pretty huge. Let's make them. Now, I don't know what to turn into netherite other than my pickaxe at the moment. Um, I think I will turn the pickaxe into netherite and then I will leave the rest up to you guys to decide. Now, I know we have the diamond armor up here and normally I would enchant that, but we still need one piece to be gold. Well, we don't need one piece to be gold, but usually the piece I would choose would either be the helmet or the boots to be the gold so I feel like it would be a waste to use both of them on both of these if I'm not gonna use them straight away um, especially also because I'm going to enchant them and they're not gonna have mending on them so yeah let me know what you think I should use the next the last two netherite ingots for down in the comments below now time to wait for this to smelt all right 11 netherite scrap right there combined with the two that is 12. And then combined with the gold, which also needs to be 12. <laughs> Put that in there. And we can now make three netherite ingots. One, two, and three. Nice. Look at that. Now, before something happens, I've got to put these into here. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna stack them. They're too good to be stacked. Mojang shouldn't have made it so they can be stacked. That's, yeah, they shouldn't be stacked. <laughs> They're too valuable for that. Um, that would actually have been a cool feature. All right, so we have another right ingot now. Diamond pickaxe goes in. Another right pickaxe goes out. Look at this. Our first netherite item right here. And that is pretty cool. And I'm not gonna... <laughs> I don't wanna walk with, with it everywhere I go. I feel like I'm gonna miss it. I, I feel like I'm gonna lose it somehow. Let me know actually, should I main this pickaxe? Like, just drop the stone pickaxe and never just... Just not use it and use this netherite pickaxe? All the time? Let me know. Um, because I feel scared doing that. But uh, in another way, I wanna do that. <laughs> I want to do this. 
Now we have five diamonds left. We need more diamonds in order to make the chest plate and the leggings, or at least bastions that have the chest plate and the leggings. So we need to figure out a way to get those. But um, right now, how long is this episode? Let me check. All right, guys. So the episode has actually reached about 20 minutes, probably even more. Um, and I think it's a pretty good place to cut it because we have done a lot of stuff. We, we got a lot of stuff done, I think. So I think I'm going to cut it here, guys. Now I do have plans for the next one. In the next episode, we will begin work on one of the tasks on that board over there. In fact, let's just go ahead and take a look at it real quickly before we end. Season 2 goals. Finish all possible advancements, defeat the wither, and make a full beacon. We will begin work on some of this some of that in the next episode and i also want to get started maybe making a farm or something um i really want an xp farm actually if i'm able to make one so if you have any suggestions for an xp farm that i could make down here in the nether let me know down in the comments below i will of course also be researching but we'll see what we make i have a plan for next episode so yeah stay tuned for that but anyways i really hope you have enjoyed this one and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Of course, if you enjoyed this one, be sure to leave it a like. It helps more than you know. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe for even more cool things. And enable notifications so you don't miss out. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Bunting me to the